Hello and welcome to TA Academy. In today's lecture, we'll be simulating an RC circuit using LT Spice. So in one of my previous lectures, we found out the time domain response of an RC circuit when a step input is applied. So I derived the final expression. So the final expression came out as VC equal to V times one minus e to the power minus t by tau. Now, if you haven't seen that lecture, then I highly recommend that you do so because in today's lecture, we'll be simulating this and actually verifying using LT Spice that the response indeed looks something like this. You can click the link in this video and watch that lecture if you haven't seen. So before we move on to LT Spice, I just want to explain to you what actually we'll be simulating today. To our RC circuit, we'll give an input pulse like this, where the input remains zero till a time 50 milliseconds. And at 50 milliseconds, there's a transition to five volts and the input stays on for a duration of 800 milliseconds. So this is my V input that I will simulate in LT Spice. We'll see later on that we have to specify a time delay in the dialog box of LT Spice, which will be 50 milliseconds in our case. The off voltage, so V off will be equal to zero volts. V on is equal to five volts and T on is the duration for which the pulse will remain at the on voltage. So this in our case will be 800 milliseconds. And just to avoid instantaneous turn on, we'll give a rise time. So this rise time will be equal to one nanosecond. So this is the input that we'll give to our circuit and the circuit you know. So this is the input and the circuit is R C where we'll choose a value of one kilo ohm for the resistance and 100 microfarad for the capacitor. Now let's go to LT Spice and try to simulate this. Hello and welcome to LT Spice. Now we'll be making our RC circuit here. So I'll just jump right into it. So the shortcut for resistance is R. I'll then use control R to rotate it. Then escape. The shortcut for a capacitor is C. And I'll put a capacitor right here. Now let's put in the values. Right click. The resistance value we'll simulate is 1K. So we don't put the unit. The unit is already there. Then right click on the capacitor and I'll put the value as 100 micro. So U for micro. And then we have to add our step input. So I'll put V, so V is for a voltage source. I'll add it here, escape, then right click, and then we'll go to advanced. And here I'm going to select a pulse. So we'll simulate our step input with a pulse that has an initial voltage of zero, an on state voltage of five volts, and the delay will be 50 milliseconds and the rise time let's put it very small value like one nanosecond and it will stay on for let's say 800 milliseconds because we want to see the capacitor voltage really approach the supply voltage so let's put a higher value there so we can move it a bit I'll press M, then select this, and I'll move it right below the voltage source. 
Now the shortcut for a wire is W. I'll connect this voltage source with resistance and this resistance here with the capacitor and then this point can then be connected to the negative of the voltage source. Now we also need a ground so shortcut is G and uh, again connecting this ground here to the negative of the voltage. So that's it. Now we can go to simulate and we'll do a transient simulation and I will just give the stop time of 800 millisecond. So that's also the duration of our pulse. So we only want to see the response till that time period. I'll press OK and then run the simulation. So I can zoom in here a bit. So first thing I want to see is the input voltage. So if you go close to the positive of the voltage, you'll see this probe. Left click here and I get my input. So this is the step input. Uh, it is zero till 50 millisecond and then it goes to the on voltage of five volts. Then I'll go back to uh, the schematic and put my probe at the capacitor because we want to see the capacitor voltage. And here it is, this blue curve is the capacitor voltage. And now let's open this plot pane so as discussed in my lecture, we saw the capacitor voltage is given as V times one minus E to the power minus T over tau. It is an exponential function which approaches the input voltage at steady state. Another thing that I explained to you guys during my previous lecture was this quantity time constant. So in one time constant, the output response we see in our case approaches almost 63% of the final steady state voltage. So if this is the steady state voltage V, the supply voltage, then after one time constant, let's say this is one time constant, the response, this value, will be 0.63 of the final value. And in five time constants, the response will approach almost 99% of the steady state voltage. So we'll be somewhere here when the time period is five tau. So 0.99 of V. And the time constant I introduced in my previous lecture for an RC circuit is equal to R times C. And for our chosen values of 1K for the resistance and 100 microfarad for the capacitance, the time constant comes out as 100 millisecond. So let's now verify whether in 100 millisecond the response is indeed equal to 63% of the output or not. And we'll also check at five time constants. So let's put a cursor here on our response. Place cursor on active trace and let's move it to one time constant which is 100 millisecond in my case and since the response is starting at 50 milliseconds 100 milliseconds after that would be uh, around 150 milliseconds so that's the value and if you see here the output is 3.16 which is 63 percent of 5 so we have verified that with our simulation that indeed the response is 63% of the output. And also the response approaches the output. It is almost 99% of the output at five time constants. So let's again 
let's again put a cursor on an on the active trace and move it to five time constants which will be 500 millisecond in our case so starting from 50 we'll move this cursor to 550 milliseconds uh, which would be somewhere here and you can see the output voltage is 4.96 which is indeed 99 percent of the response the response has almost approached the steady state conditions you would like to see more simulations with lt spice on my channel then please do comment if you have any particular request then please let me know i'll be delighted to help you there so that's it for today's lecture see you again in another one bye